Hey guys, good morning, good morning. I hope everybody's having a wonderful start to your Sunday on this three-day weekend. I know that I'm enjoying it myself, and I'm just going to get right into it and tell you why I could not wait to get to prison. As crazy as that may seem, and it does seem insane, after I got sentenced, I couldn't wait for them to come pick me up and take me off to state prison. Mind you, I just got smacked with a 21-year bit by the judge when I was 21 years old. I knew I was going to do some time. I had a whole rack of charges against me for all kinds of stuff. 21 years. 21 years old. Been in the county jail for almost a year at this point. Nearly a year. I spent about 11 months there from, from arrest to sentencing. So that was a very long time to be in the county jail because that is very, very slow time. Slow time is, for me, my biggest enemy when I was locked up was slow time. You wanted to go as fast as possible because you did not want to be there. But you don't have a choice in the matter. I couldn't escape. I wouldn't even try because you're going to get another 10 years when they catch you. So it's like, all right, man, let's uh, let's get to prison. Let's get out of this county jail, get going where there's uh, greener pastures, so to speak. Once the judge sentenced me, I was in circuit court, he hit me with that 21 years. Strangely, I wasn't, I wasn't really like upset or mad at the situation. There was a bigger feeling of relief than anything. And I remember telling my parents this later on, and, and I, I, they just gave me the same crazy look that I'm probably thinking many of you have watching this. Why would you have a relief about getting 21 years? It wasn't about the 21 years. It could have been more. It could have been less. They ended up smacking me with 21. But I got to get out of the county jail. That was a treat. After 11 months in there... I was ready to get somewhere where I could actually start doing my time. It's another phrase that's used quite often. You got to do your time and not let your time do you. So you got to take as much control of your situation as possible, as wisely as you can. So, with the sense of relief that came getting the 21 year sentence, again, not the number, but the actual off to jail, off, or off from jail to prison now. You can get up the road and you get some more, more privileges. Um, well, let me just run down the list. There's, there's so many things that are exponentially better in prison than they are in a county jail. First of all, the food's going to be better. And that's not just at the chow hall. You're going to be able to get, you got the option to go to commissary, which there's a lot more items on there. A lot of things you can actually eat for a long period of time mix it up, jump around, and not get stale with eating the same pack of crackers, the same dry saltines, or jar of peanut butter, or whatever it is that you're getting in the county jails. So the food was better, commissary was better, you had a lot more movement, and this is huge. In county jail, you're pretty much on your block the whole time. And a lot of people don't even have the opportunity to work in the county jail until you get sentenced. So, like I said, it's very slow time. Prison, everyone has an opportunity to work. Most people do. There's very few people that don't do anything in there, but, but there are those guys, and they're a small minority. Now, beyond the fact of movement, beyond the wonders of having better food, I mean, just waiting and waiting to be able to eat something that's a little bit better, that was uh, something I look forward to a lot. You had a ton of privileges as compared to the county jail. I had a TV in my cell when I was locked up in prison. I couldn't believe it. I had no idea that this was an actual possibility until some other people told me. I said, yeah, you can have a TV in your cell. I was like, what? What, like a, a, a little one that I get to share? And they're like, no, you can have your, your own TV. They want you to be as calm, cool, collected, and relaxed as possible because then you're causing less problems to anybody else that's coming through the door. Guards don't want too many problems. Don't get me wrong. you got a couple 
um, provocative guards that do just want to come in and just crack your skull. Uh, but for the most part, they they know that they have the opportunity to go home every night, whereas you don't, and you catch the wrong person, they're going to want you to feel their pain, and they're going to, you know, attack the guards. So that's that's a that's a snake that eats its own tail in my in my book so you get a ton more privileges tv i had a cd player i mean like a little walkman a cd player i was able to order um from music by mail and some other catalogs like that that were prison approved you go ahead and have a certain allowable number of cds i think it was like eight or ten or something like that and you could trade them swap them around with other guys and you know it was it was kind of like a um like a decentralized library, if you will. You know, you could go trade with other guys some music. Funny story about that real quick I want to throw in. I had a, a young black guy from Baltimore City. Real great guy. I loved him to death. Loved talking to him. And he goes, hey, man, let me hold that Dave Matthews CD. I said, uh -oh. all right, how'd you know I had that? Man, I heard about it. So, okay. So I passed it to him, and he loved it. he never heard him before in his life, and I was just like, oh. Okay, this is this is really kind of funny. So he loved it. He was always begging me to hold it, man. Man, I love it, man. I go through the deck of cards, doing push-ups, listening to that. And I'm just like, all right, I I love it. Music just it reaches everybody. But that one, that one, <laughs> it definitely made me laugh. And he was a good dude, always asking to hold that CD from me. So you get your CD player, you know, you can put those headphones on, which is very nice. Tune a lot of the nonsense out, cause I mean. It's no library in there when it comes to peace and quiet, but you can do a few little things to uh, shut down some of the noise. You don't have to hear it all the time if you want the CD player on. You know, listen to the radio, spin whatever you got. So you got your CD player, you got your television, you've got your food, you've got your own locker at this point. Oh, this is nice. County Jail, I remember having a plastic tub, like a very small, it was like a very small Rubbermaid kind of tub, but it had no lid or anything. And you just throw all your crap in there and just hope that nobody else goes into it. And, and a lot of times people do. They'll go steal your stuff. So at least at this point, if you keep your stuff locked up, there's a very small chance that someone's going to be able to run into your cell and just take, your, take all your property. Street clothes, another one. You're able to have packages sent in. Now this was when I was there, and, and I think things have changed a lot since then because gang colors with clothing, and, and it just became an issue, so they're like, no, none of this, everybody's got to get rid of any kind of colored stuff, you know, blue shirts, red shirts, um, you could have like white, gray shirts, and that was it, I believe, couldn't have black because that was the, um, the color of the officer's uniforms, and when anybody to try to attempt an escape by fabricating, um, you know, correctional officer uniform, so no black, um, but pretty much it's just white and gray, and I think your DOC blue shirt, you could rock that, um, gray sweatshirts. Prior to that, you were able to get packages, you know, like, so I got a couple pairs of jeans that lasted me a very long time because I took care of them and I only wore them at certain times. I um, <clears throat> was able to get uh, some hats, like a belt, socks, underwear, little things like that. You know, it's, it's really nice when you don't have that even as a possibility for, for almost a year. And you know it's slow time and kind of get used to it. So when you do get there and you start to enjoy some of these uh, better amenities, it makes your time go by a little bit better. You feel like a you, you got a little bit more pride then too. You don't feel as much like, like a catalog animal per se when you have the slight little bit of identity that you can, that you can keep to yourself. So that was another big one. <laughs> Uh, books. I get a lot more books in there. We had an uh, opportunity to um, get more sent in from bookstores, book catalogs. You could keep more allowable property on you. Um, so these, these are some pretty nice, you know, little things that you had as compared to the county jail. But movement and activities were, were some of the biggest ones. I, uh, like I, I've mentioned previously, I very much tried to fill my time with um, fast time, not as much slow time. So I got in a lot of different groups like NA, I wanted to deal with some of the issues that put me there. AA, because it's very similar and you can actually get down. You can learn a lot, you know? You can learn a lot from a dummy. 
and I was definitely one of the biggest ones. So I wanted to go in there and, and uh, you know, declutter a lot of those cobwebs in my brain that were making me, not making me, but uh, that allowed me to do some stupid things. I, you know, I'm not blaming anything for my incarceration but myself. So I just want to be clear about that as well. So NAAA, I would go to uh, uh, self-help groups, you know, a lot of stuff. And there's, you find some pretty cool people in there too, man. A lot of people, they want to go in and, and they get into these uh, programs where it's like, hey, man, let's, um, let's think before we react, you know. And when you act, be proactive instead of reactive. So these little, tiny little small, you know, gestures that, that are taught in these groups, they can be beneficial. Uh, a lot of people just go to them just to get out of the cell. And that's cool too. Because hey man, broken clock is right twice a day. So even if you fall into a group by accident, you might hear something that could help you out. So you got a lot of movement. Um, sport teams, that was pretty neat. You could play on a basketball league, a softball league. I think they had, yeah, they did have flag football. Um, but you had to be careful about that because... <laughs> You could, uh, there's a lot of tempers would flare out there on the, on the flag field. So, um, again, beach volleyball, that was pretty neat. I mean, you had pool tables, weights. I'm forgetting about weights here. I can't believe I forgot to mention this. The fact that you get weights to actually work out with, man, it's, it's such a difference because when you're used to just doing pull-ups, push-ups, calisthenics of whatever nature, if you're jumping jacks, free squats, any of that. That's really the majority of what you can do in the county jail. There's very few places that do have weights. I saw one institute that had had one of those universal systems on it where like everything was with all the cords and cables and it was like five stations and and you know that was that was neat, but we very rarely had access to it. So I don't even really count it. It was just push ups and pull ups predominantly. But the weights in prison, that was that was something that pretty much Everybody at some point went out and worked out with the weights. So you're not getting that in the county jail. But you get it in prison. Um, we had a small yard for each housing unit, and there's a big yard that each housing unit would rotate to go to. And within each of these these units, there was a basketball court, a little track around it that you could walk, and um, again the weight pit. Now the weights were all welded together, so you kind of had to work with what was available. It was just some old rusty pig iron, but you'd have like an 85 pound bar, like a 105 pound bar, you get 135, 185, 225, 275, 300, 320, and a lot of variations like that, but those are usually the main um, numbers that you'd find. You, you had dumbbells, but the plates were welded together because, you know, less of a chance for someone to take it off and crack you with it. And, um, which did happen with dumbbells from time to time, but it wasn't a, a, a very common thing. It wasn't like a, a major issue where I was at. It did happen though. But so the weights were a godsend because you could go out there, burn off a lot of steam. If you're pissed off, if you got like some issues you're trying to work out, <laughs> let's go out there and just get you a couple sets in and um, just get with some guys. You, you, can get along with at least or don't work out with people who hate you they're probably not going to let you first of all and if you try they're probably going to run you off so mind the clicks mind who you're talking to mind who um who you try to work out with but that's that's uh something else for a whole another day just the the policies and the, the hierarchy of who gets to work out where and with what and with whom i mean prison politics are you think all this stuff on the news is crazy, you should be in there because it's just amplified. Everything is so hypersensitive. Every little thing is just scrutinized because people don't have nothing else to do. So, weird as it sounds, this was, this was the God's honest truth. I could not wait to get to prison after I was sentenced. 21 years sucks. But if you got to do it, you want to be able to do it in a, <laughs> a little bit of style. So, if you find yourself locked up, looking at some time that's really coming at you, just don't plea out to anything that's going to put you in county jail life. There's some, um, some places they'll be like, oh, well, 
yeah, we'll give you three years instead of five years in the state, but you can do three years in the county. Oh, no, you don't want to do that. Most people would take five years in the state over three years in the county because you might serve a couple more months than you would in the county, but your time's going to fly by compared to what it would be. So there you have it. County jail sucks. Prison much better as far as uh, privileges go. And let me throw this out there too. Federal prison is even better than the state prisons from everything that I've heard. But you do more of your time. You do much more of your time. But they got stuff like salad bars, man. It's crazy. All kinds of yoga classes. I couldn't believe it. The things people were telling me. College courses that were paid for. We went as far as GED in, uh, in the institution I was in. Uh, any college courses you'd have to, you know, try to pay for it out of your pocket and do it correspondence style. Very difficult to do. But uh, as far as it goes, if you're going to do time, you want to do it in the state system, in my opinion. Talk soon.